Hi, I'm Alan Grubors, Technical Sales Manager here at Johnson Matthey. We're here at our facility in Royston, which is actually one of the most advanced ceramic 3D printing facilities in the whole world. We work mostly on alumina with feature sizes down to 400 micron. We're going to talk with our design and modeling engineer, Carlos Fonte, who's going to walk us through the process. We're going to see the three levels of printing that we do, and we'll see the printers in action. Here we are in the R&D lab with Carlos, who's going to walk us through the design process. Hi, Alan. So usually the customer comes to us with a geometry that is too complex to be uh, manufactured any other way. Uh, they usually send us a 2D drawing or a 3D model of the object that then we need to tweak a little bit to, to adapt that to our printing process. Um, then we need to do a slicing uh, process uh, that we then fit to the machine. Um, and translate into something that the machine can read and print afterwards. If I want to make a change to the design, how easy is that? So changes can be uh, made very easily and quickly at this stage of the process. So we can offer to our customers several prototypes um, that they can test and validate. This takes days instead of months. Once they're happy with the final design, then they can move on into production at scale. That's great. Can we go see the printer in action now? Let's do it. A recorder blade consecutively spreads thin layers of ceramic powder in the print pad with a thickness of a few hundred microns. This print pad drops each time a layer of powder is spread to keep a constant level and this is repeated until the end of the process. In between layers, an ink is jetted in the areas where the 3D parts will be printed. Where the powder and the ink get in contact, the powder will bind together. This also makes consecutive layers of powder to bond to form the 3D object. The loose powder in the print bed around the 3D object will offer support to these 3D parts. When the printing process is complete, unbound powder is removed which can later be reused in the process. At the end of the process, the ceramic parts will require further depowdering to remove the excess powder. This excess powder can then be recycled, ensuring very little is wasted. Additive manufacturing is a more sustainable production method, reducing waste when compared to other conventional manufacturing techniques. These ceramic parts are finally fired in a furnace at thousands of degrees. This synthesizes the ceramic powder together and gives the ceramic parts its final strength. I hope you found that interesting. If anything that you've seen today sparks an idea or further interest, or perhaps you have an idea of something you'd like to print on our ceramic 3D printers, then please get in touch with us.